Hello and welcome to Twin Ring Motegi West in Arca. You heard that right. We are at a very underused configuration on iRacing, especially with, well, there isn't even an especially. It's just never used for anything. <laughs> and of all places, it's Arca coming here, and I am so excited. I am so excited to give this a try. Um, it was... Uh, an idea that came about because we used Twin Ring last season and we wanted to get some more use out of it. You know, we, we discussed this all on the iRacing forums. The, you know, user base gets to decide the schedule. So uh, if you didn't know that, be sure to take part. It's a, a very cool thing that we're allowed to do. And uh, make your voice heard, put tracks on there that you like, get my volume adjusted here. Give your opinions, all that good stuff. And uh, the idea was get more use out of Twin Ring after uh, using it last season. And uh, we're gonna go back to the Oval next season. But uh, it's like a, a road course short track. As uh, Nick has described it, and I would agree, it's pretty much what it is. And I love it. I've been enjoying running the laps here. And I don't know how it's going to turn out in the race, but I'm very excited to find out. We'll see how our hot lap goes here. I did not stay on the brakes long enough, so I blew that. <laughs> Oops. I just I should be uh, making sure that I just get a good, decent lap in before I start worrying about being fast, but... It's just that eagerness I was talking about, man. So not a very good fast first lap, but try to bring it together here. I'm lap two. P3. Much better on the first corner there. Very tricky chicane there, very tricky to go single wide, much less two wide, so I'm not sure I recommend that if you uh, <laughs> are thinking about going through there too wide. Get a little bit loose on it sit there, but um, not a terrible lap. I can be happy with that, I think, so long as I get in the 38s, I think I can feel content. It's not going to be the fastest lap, but I did not really expect that anyway, even as the number one. So. My best is a 38.6, which would not have even been close, apparently. Three tenths off of what the leaders got going on over there. So, they've uh, got a good handle on this. We're very close to P2, so not terribly off from their pace, presumably. Oops, got in the grass a little bit. Uh, I'm definitely going to run the race much differently then I am running qualifying in that I am going to be very careful getting on the throttle because you can you burn up the tires like crazy like if I just jam on the throttle here you can just hear the rear tires spinning up and after a good number of laps about seven or eight or so you're gonna be wishing you didn't burn those up because you're not gonna be able to get on the throttle very much anymore so I'm gonna try to get ahead this time and do the thing I don't normally do and be nice to the tires. We'll see. I'm gonna try. Try to flip the script here <laughs> and actually take care of the tires for once. Typically not the greatest at doing that. Just uh, not treat them as a treat the throttle as a light switch. Ease into things. Yeah, I feel like I can keep it on track. We'll see how well I can drive around other people. I got a little bit of experience with that in practice, but not too much. So, gonna have to keep that in mind that, uh, oh, don't get loose. 
I was on the throttle too much while I was still turning. See, that's uh, that's the thing. Got to not do that. This is such a tricky chicane. It's very tight corners. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, sliding. Don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> See, I'm gonna have to get that figured out. I need to not do that during the race because uh, you don't get any new tires if you're sliding around the corners doing drifts. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But not very many people qualifying either so far. Um, we are waiting on the 12. We are waiting on the 16, and this guy's not here, so if they don't show up, I guess we're going to have to wait the whole time, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. Definitely don't need eight minutes. You don't. These aren't even a minute. These are not even close to a minute long laps. You could have normal track qualifying times and be fine with this, so that's kind of silly that we have road course qualifying times at all, but you'll see here 98 already, and uh, it's this. That really matters here, the temps. You know, burning them up is going to make them hot. You're going to be slipping around. And speaking of a hot, let me see here. It's a scorcher here in Japan, apparently. 135 degree track temps. Uh, we've got an active volcano below the track, heating it up. So that's fun. Uh, that's contributing to the slickness, I imagine. I would guess so. I don't know how it's 135 if it's 78 degrees out here. That doesn't seem right, does it? I mean, I guess if it's like noon, it's coming down, the sunlight's coming down on a clear day, I guess. I don't know. But I'm content with P3. Looks like we have a couple tenths up on the guy behind, but, you know, that's going to be completely different from race pace. So, um... Looks like the top five here are all kind of within the same area. Maybe the three is probably on one step up from everybody, but again, race pace could be different. We'll see how they uh, handle 25 laps compared to one or two. I wish I had stayed out there now because of how long it's taking, but oh, this person showed up. Nice. I guess they're qualifying or trying to, or just not hitting the button, or hasn't actually loaded in yet. Either way, we only got about 40 seconds. I can talk about my settings that I've chosen. I've gone with 8 to 1. I get as much uh, responsiveness on the wheel as possible as I'm fighting looseness and all that, and uh, just getting as much turn in as I can. Oh, nice. That sounds like we're ready to go. And uh, steering offset's a little different. Normally, I'd have it at negative 15 on ovals, but... It's not really the same deal on uh, like on road courses, so I just leave it how it is. And then I moved the front brake bias back just 2% to 64. Just trying to get a little bit more turn in it, but you uh, do have some heavy braking zones, so don't want to go overboard with that. I definitely was sliding whenever I was turning it too far down in practice, so who knows? 66 default might even be better. Who knows? But uh, looks like we got P3. We're ready to go here. Uh, two. We're going to have session last lap. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to have all time. I'm going to have all time optimal. Because that was uh, helping me decide if I was flying into the corner too hard or anything. I'm hoping guys around us are cautious off the start. We haven't got that data. Okay, just checking my volume. Seems loud for some reason. Um... I hope you guys are cautious, because uh, not very much room out here, that's for sure. I'm going to try not to run into anybody from behind, and I just hope they give us that same courtesy. Starting on the back stretch, which is just kind of interesting. I listened to Nick's race, Nick Neben's race on the way home. I didn't actually get to watch it because I just got home and I was so excited to try this. I really wanted to try it. And thankfully enough people signed up here at midnight on Monday. Catch up three, car. I was afraid to run too close to that guy. Get ready, going green. Get ready. Both car is off, time to do your job. We 
going to do a green. Green, green, green. Pretty nice of them, because you got to let people get through that last chicane. Oh, almost overdrove it. Almost got into that guy. Tricky, because you never enter that corner at half speed. Or at least I've never done it before, so... Remember not to get on it too hard. Don't burn them up. I'm also going to be doing some short shifting to help with that. Oh, wow, we got a lot of room behind us. Sweet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ease on the throttle. Short shift. As soon as it turns red, I'm going to be shifting. You guys pretty good pace in front of us don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up with them but we do have some space behind us for now that's making me feel a little bit better no light switches <laughs> easy on the throttle breaking zone I feel like I break differently every time I enter this breaking zone, but we get there eventually. Lock up ahead of us. He's trying hard to keep up with that three. He was very clearly got very good pace, so we might see a mistake out of the four trying to keep up with him. Four might be driving over his head trying to keep up. Could be wrong. Your lap time was but that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> like trying to keep up with someone who's clearly got it a little bit faster. I almost pushed a little too hard in throttle there. Heard the rears burning up a little bit. Don't want to do that. Overdrove the chicane. That's okay. Still got through there. Not too bad. Still gaining behind us for now. That's good. I really enjoy this though. Quick road floor slaps. We're likely going to get some lap traffic, which will be interesting, if not scary. <laughs> it'll be scary, and it'll be interesting. And it'll be right now. <laughs> oh my god, what was... Okay, had to take an off track there. What are we doing? Practice more. We can't be out here to slow. Car stop on the left. Clear on the right. Right side. Gosh. Go right. Did I mention it's single split? Because I get home at midnight. <laughs> I can't even blame him too much. It's tough. But again, like if you can't really do a single lap, you probably need some more practice. No light switch. I will remind myself. I hope it doesn't get annoying, but I'm kind of coaching myself here, trying to be better about my throttle usage, so I'm going to be reminding myself of that quite a bit. And I'm hoping that what I'm lacking in short run pace, maybe I can make up a little bit if I don't burn the tires off too horribly. That's kind of my uh, potential gain I can make, because I wasn't going to keep up with the, the guy that got pole. Not with the pace I'm currently able to run. So, if I'm going to give myself any chance whatsoever, it's going to be being steady... Where is he? Okay. I couldn't tell exactly where he went, so I had to lose a bunch of time there. But by being steady and uh, not burning off the tires, specifically the rears, or, you know, heating them up. Oh my god, he's breaking. Holy cow. Okay, 
don't want to dive in like that, but you are not entering the corner correctly. Part of what's making this pretty interesting. People at very different paces. No light switch. Delicate little egg under the throttle pedal. That's what we're going for here. That was a 39.7. So far, so good. I feel like I can, I'm can. able to keep on the track. I feel like I'm capable of that. Just, uh, you know, you when people are having so much trouble, yeah. speaking of, sometimes that's all you gotta do. Keep it on the track, keep it steady. Something I've learned as I've learned road racing, starting with like rookie Mazdas and stuff. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. Keep it on the track. Don't overdrive. The guy behind has just done a yeah, easy does it. Go right. We've got cars everywhere. We're approaching people at the chicane. They are going too wide for some unexplained reason. Left side. Clear. So I have to take that very easy. That's going to make us very slow. But we figured it out. Really hope this guy lets me by, but he won't, it looks like. Hopefully his braking is not too slow. It looks like he's fine. No light switch. <laughs> That's definitely going to be annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Coming up on oh, this guy. He's going very slow. Very, very slow. Left side. Clear on the left. Okay, got by him. We got someone sitting motionless on the left there. Tragic scenes here in Japan. You've just done a 40.3. Let's hope that gentleman is okay. Oh no, no. Right okay, that's another off track for us from that. Track. I was not able to turn it down enough. This guy is approaching way too quick, quickly behind. I had to overdrive it because he was coming too fast. You freaking. Right. He was gonna run into us. He was ready to dive it in, which kind of infuriating. I guess I just have to worry about what I'm doing and get hit if I get hit, but that was kind of annoying. Alright, we'll try to get by him again. The only reason he caught us was because of lap traffic. Switch. Still got him on it a little bit hard there. It's okay. <laughs> ah, he seems fine. He seems pretty fast. Maybe he was gonna pass us anyway. I thought he just caught us because we got held up by a million different lap cars doing lap car things. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, go way too soft into that chicane. We got this other guy catching up behind us. Whew. Your attempt off the pace in sectors 1 and 3. Sector 2 is 1.3 off the pace. And easy does it. Oh, 
Alright. Got 1.1 behind us. I think we might be able to be faster than the guy behind. Guy head's able to get on the throttle much harder. <laughs> Maybe I'm overdoing it with the pull, not a light switch thing. <laughs> but rather than killing the tires, I'd rather be underdriving it, I guess. You got a slow car on the left. Okay, slow car on the left. Just gonna sit in the racing line, I guess. Two gets around him. Looks like he's a oh, getting kind of sideways. He's just smashing off throttle pedal. Oh god, why wouldn't you let me by? So step behind him. Oh god, he's spinning out. Clear on the left. Okay. I don't think we're close enough to this guy for him to let us by. Oh my god. Going really easy. He's got a rookie license. I mean, this is a single split. I can't blame people for not being too fast, so I just I have to be really careful. He's doing good. I wasn't close enough for him to have to slow down and then he let us by, so... Mm, we'll overdrive that a little bit, but we're okay. Alright, still P4. I do think that number two is faster than us, so I don't feel too bad about having been passed by him anymore. It's bound to happen, even if it might have been accelerated by lap cars. Seems like we're holding steady with the gap behind us. A little hard there for this point in the run. Tires are getting a little hot back there in the back, but okay. Leaders have uh, been doing a good job getting through the traffic. They have not had any major problems. Let's just uh, bring this home. We're almost uh, we're almost there already. Feels like it's been so quick. The 25 laps we've had here. You got a car on the guy's parking it on the apex. He survived. Okay. This is somehow not as stressful as South Boston. Though. Probably just in my head. Why am I driving in so hard? Why did that happen? I must not have been on the brakes as hard as I normally am or something. Because I thought I braked at the normal time. So be careful not to do that stuff. Feeling you know, good about this performance so far, though. Just a couple of off tracks. Mostly related to lap car isms. Chicken streaker isms. <laughs> okay. I think the guy had might get held up a bit here by the lap car. Sure did. not gonna let us by. He isn't seventh, we're basically lapping half the field. <sighs> okay. 
Let's see if he's any faster than the chicane. Oh man, that was an off track. I guess I got a little bit too far to the left. Between the lines. You've got two laps to go. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Kills our exit, but I guess it's only fair that two got held up by him in the same spot not that long ago, so. I guess that's fair enough. Not a light switch, I say to myself. Pretty darn fun, though. I've really enjoyed driving around this course. And we just gotta do it one last time to get our top five. <laughs> Time was 39.9. Last corner coming up. And that, my friends, was Twin Ring Motegi West. <laughs> Very fun. I really enjoyed that. Maybe I'll give it another try later this week in a bigger split, but you know I just had to come. Uh, come on, iRacing, as soon as I got home. And join up, because I was excited to give this a try. <laughs> good race, good win. I did it muted the whole time. <laughs> I didn't realize it. So they, they might have been talking. All right. So that'll do it. Uh, depending on where these guys are, I might have lost eye rating, but that's okay. Probably more than likely I'll just gain like four or something. <laughs> um, tires, 98, 93. So yeah, it was on the, on the rear. It was pretty good. Oh, I guess I got to look at both sides. It's a road course. No, excuse me. 88% on the rears on the left. So, um, I don't know. I feel like I did okay uh, taking it easy. I mean, it's just, it's always going to happen, I think. I'm not sure if you can prevent it <laughs> to any degree. Um, it's always going to be on the rears to some degree. So, I'm okay with how that went. We uh, survived. We didn't get any 4Xs. We just got three off tracks. Oh, four off tracks. I forgot about that other one. So, um, uh, just four little off tracks, not too bad. Pretty much everybody got a little bit. So we're three. Good job to the three. We avoided going off the course at any point. But let's see what happened. Probably a lot. Ooh, there's where I almost overdrove and got the guy. Glad that didn't happen. Lap one, through the chicane, didn't really see anything there. I think the incidents were giving some trouble to uh, Nick when he was doing them. So he might end up with a bunch of junk we don't need to see. But that's some real stuff. We got 13 getting on the gas too hard. Lap one. I think we're just going to skip past when we see the, sh see the chicane because it looks like... Uh, oh my lord. Looks like going through the shaking brings stuff up. Um, Jeff Gordon goes a little too fast into the <laughs> braking zone there. Or maybe the 7 goes way too light. I don't know. I can't really tell. But either way, one guy gets into the back of the other. Yeah, it's a truck. It, it's a very tricky braking zone. I'm not even completely confident. I haven't figured out myself where I want exactly to be. So I, I imagine there's some very large... Oh, large variance in where people are breaking there. And uh, this is pretty close to the front. That guy's getting loose up there, just trying his best to gather together in the five. Just, it's, just has to get into him, I guess, because he's got like the two nearby and on his inside. Six just wasn't getting it going. Tough spot there.
<laughs> Looks like we had some guys going very slow through the chicane. Were they too wide? Yes, that's why. Don't know where this guy's going. That's pretty dumb. <laughs> that's a pretty dumb rejoin. So I guess that's what the nine was waiting for in addition to being too wide through the chicane. And the leader's going through the chicane, and other people going through the chicane, and other people going through the chicane. <laughs> chicane, 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 chicanery. Seven's off track once more. They were having some serious trouble. This guy's already stopped. What happened? I just overdrove it in. Yeah, just in there a little too high. They just kind of looked like they never turned. Maybe they had the brakes locked up or something. And then the guy in front of them also had trouble. Just compounded the issue. There are the guys that know how to do it correctly. <laughs> Very tough, though. Like I said. Can't really blame anyone. 7 having trouble still. 7 having trouble still. Getting on the gas a little hard. They're going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please don't rejoin. Oh, there's the guy we saw stopped. Thank goodness he didn't just pull out in front of us. Ooh, 12 with some issues there. This is the guy that eventually came and caught us, the two. I think they didn't qualify and then they were just faster and eventually caught us. I'm guessing by the fact that they started eighth as the number two, they probably didn't qualify. More chicanery. Seven had uh, apparently found himself around again and got on the throttle too hard after the tires were hot from having spun or something. Two finding his way around the nine. It's nine a lap car. They were. So they got that figured out. Just some chicane. Nothing too crazy. There's a cone attached to this gentleman. Where did you find that? Drop it. <laughs> it's like the dog whenever he's got something in his mouth he's not supposed to. Drop it. You put that cone back right now. <laughs> there it goes. Going on a grand adventure. I it just became part of the car, I think. Oh, nope, it's still there. Drop it. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna assume that uh, that cone went to live on a farm somewhere for the rest of its life. A happy farm with lots of other doggy friends. Or coney friends, I guess. Uh, that guy, still having trouble with a seven. They found a wall out over yonder. Oh my gosh, everyone's getting stuck. The leader's stuck behind the, the gaggle of geese. <laughs> Going through the chicane. So, um, it was happening to everybody, of course. Scary times, I imagine, for the leader and runner-up. Trying to find their way through there. Hasn't shown me at all yet. Wonder why. I thought at least it would show me in the chicane at some point. Maybe me going off track somewhere. Seven getting on it too hard. They are having a rough time. Have they not entered it out? They got 17, so eventually they did. That's keeping it in fourth gear the whole track, I think. I'm hearing like no engine noises from them. Nothing there. Seven pulling out in front of people. You just gotta get off the track, man. You're wrecking people. You clearly can't get around the track two consecutive times. Why would you pull out there? I just, I don't get it. No, no consideration there. Not even looking, I guess. 14, really rubbing it up, trying to get past the six, was that for a position? Sure looks like it. They are smashing the throttle. Holy cow. 
That is wild. Looks like they're driving on snow. Leaners going through. Seven still attempting and failing. Gotta know when to call it quits. Not much going on there. The nine goes off. Oh no, I remember this. That cost us some time. And gave us an off track. He's coming through here, and I saw him spinning, and I thought he was... Well, I mean, first of all, I'm entering the corner. I can't turn down hard enough, and I know I'm not going to be able to turn, out, turn down hard enough. So I think I can sneak around the outside. Maybe, I guess I could have stabbed the brakes a little harder, but I also knew this guy wasn't too far back, so... I just... I had to try to just sneak around the outside. Just felt like the, uh, <laughs> the right thing to do at the time. We didn't make car contact or damage the car, so... At least there's that. It's 14 running into the back of people again? I kind of don't blame him if that guy's breaking that early. Then, uh, well, I think that's kind of on the 16. 16's having some serious trouble. They're not even close to the inside, so they come up and hit the 14. That causes a bit of a mess. I bet there was some unhappy people. <laughs> I didn't even think about the fact it was silent. There was probably plenty of things I didn't need to hear, to be honest. But what's going on there? Got a guy off track. Leader being fast. More chicane. More chicane. I guess it's settling down a little bit now. We're just seeing some normal chicanery. Three approaching a slower car. Jeff Gordon. Went through the chicane. Oh, there's a... <laughs> there's us. Oh, this guy got pretty close behind us at one point. Yeah, I really had to slow down for the guys ahead of here. I want to see me drive a little bit. It's not showing me at all. This is where we had to really be careful and go around this guy in the chicane. Figured it out. Lost us time, but like I said, everybody was dealing with it a little bit. And we're still only on lap 14, huh? We really gotta start speeding this up a little bit. Before really trying to get around the 8. Was pretty fast. Chicane, chicane, chicane. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, really wants to show this part of the track for us. There we go. Lap 18. I was wondering what lap we were actually on because so many people are laps down. Hard to even tell what lap we're actually on. And approaching the end of this one, it looks like things settled down a little bit later. Once people had uh, either, either given up or spread out a whole bunch. Uh-oh, there's a something for real. Oh no! From 10th place. Or they just... I just revved it up too much and lost control. That's too bad. Chicane, chicane, blah, blah. All right, already. Don't want to go too fast because it breaks if you do. But we should be approaching the end of this one. Come on now. Really just showing everybody, huh? And that's it. So there was nothing else. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. That was some Twin Ring West. I am excited to give this another go. Um, maybe in a more populated split, probably show how slow I am, <laughs> but, uh, for now we've got ourselves a top five AP4, and, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like I did an okay job, had to dodge a lot of people, but, you know, just getting a handful of incidents, I can keep them on one hand, just the four, <laughs> and, uh, nothing that I caused, um, no running into anyone myself, I mean, 
uh, I can be pretty happy with that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, how this looks. Uh, it's pretty fun stuff. I encourage you to give it a try if you're at all interested. We uh, will be going, most likely, back to Twin Ring Motegi Oval next season. Um, so if you wanted to, uh, if you're thinking about giving this a try, just know you'll get a little bit more out of your money as well. We'll be back at Twin Ring Motegi, and you'll be able to go to a very fun oval next season as well, most likely. So um, if you're on the fence, just keep that in mind too. So... Fun stuff. Uh, I will see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.